Hello, and welcome to BC Women's Hospital. Please watch this educational video about an amniocentesis, also known as an amniotic fluid test. In this video, we will explain the purpose, process, and risks associated with an amniocentesis, as well as how to take care of yourself after the test. As you watch this video, please write down any questions you may have. You will have a chance to ask your nurse or doctor these questions before having the test. You may be referred to an amniocentesis if you are over the age of 40, if you have received a positive prenatal screen for a chromosomal abnormality like Down syndrome, or if you have had an abnormal ultrasound finding. An amniocentesis is a specific test that is able to tell if your baby has a normal number of chromosomes, the genetic packages in our cells that carry our DNA. During an amniocentesis, a small sample of the thin, watery substance that surrounds your baby, known as amniotic fluid, is collected with a thin needle. This sample of amniotic fluid is sent to the lab where it is tested for chromosomal abnormalities. It normally takes two weeks for the results. There are a few risks associated with having an amniocentesis. The chance of having a miscarriage from an amniocentesis is 1 in 200. The complication rate or chance of having a problem such as an amniotic fluid leak or bleeding is 1 in 100 women. Now that you generally know about an amniocentesis, let's walk you through what the process will look like here at BC Women's Hospital. Once you are done watching this video, the nurse will ask you to sign a consent form. This is also a good time for you to ask any questions that you may have. You may also want to use the toilet, as your bladder should be empty for the test. You will wait on the chairs outside the procedure room until the nurse, doctor, or ultrasound technician brings you into the procedure room. There, you will be asked to confirm your ID, including your name and birth date. Once you are in the procedure room, you can lay on the ultrasound bed while your partner sits at the foot of the bed. You will keep your clothes and shoes on during this test. The technician will do an ultrasound to check the age of your fetus and to look for the best place to collect the sample of amniotic fluid. The ultrasound will remain on during the entire amniocentesis to give the doctor a clear view of the needle. The ultrasound will also be displayed on a big TV so you can watch the amniocentesis if you wish. On the TV screen, the amniotic fluid that surrounds your baby will look black. When the area has been identified, the doctor will clean your stomach with a cold, wet, antiseptic cleaner. There is a pink dye in this antiseptic cleaner, so it may take a few showers for it to wash off. Now that everything is ready, the doctor will insert a thin needle into your abdomen. Freezing or numbing is not necessary. You will feel a prick on the skin when the needle is inserted, and then a menstrual cramp when the needle moves into the amniotic sac. The doctor will take the sharp part of the needle out right away. When the needle is inserted, you will see a white line going into the black space. This white line is the needle. The part of the needle that is left behind will function like a hollow tube that will allow the doctor to collect the fluid using a syringe. The 
hollow tube part of the needle is then taken out. And the test is finished. Once the amniocentesis is over, you may go home. It is advised that you do not drive or take public transportation. Please arrange to have your partner, family member, or friend drive you home. If you feel the need to rest before going home, you may do so in the waiting room. If you are taking a taxi or public transportation, please rest a bit longer before leaving. If you are experiencing any symptoms, such as water leaking out of your vagina, vaginal bleeding, severe cramping, or a fever, please call BC Women's Hospital. Ask the operator to page the perinatologist, the doctor who specializes in amniocentesis. Once you're at home, for the first 24 hours after your amniocentesis, it is important that you rest. You may go to the toilet, shower, and get up to eat, but no cooking, no cleaning, no shopping, no sexual activities, and no lifting. The day after your amniocentesis, you may do light activity, such as walking or driving a car, but no lifting more than 20 pounds. Two days after the test, you may resume your usual activities. Around two weeks after your test, your doctor or midwife will get in touch with you to review your test results. The sex of the baby is also revealed during this test, so please let us know if you wish to know the sex of your baby. Thank you for watching this video, and please feel free to ask your nurse or doctor any questions you may have. We wish all the best for you and your family.